Resourcefulness, practicality, and bovine devotion create the wrong kind of cow. Oh! <laughs> you are disgusting. Do you want to come over and do it for me then? The ICA ladies are determined to slap their recruits into shape. I saw some of you ladies going over pressing knobs on things. The left. They'll battle to win the grand title of top ICA bootcamp recruit. Less embarrassing than winning the Rose of Tralee, but still not as good as winning the lotto. Thank but when you. somebody's being a spoiled brat, they should oh, get sure. nothing. Oh, this is the first task. How about us the rest of the week going to be? They don't know what's in store for them, do they? The poor girls. Lambs to the slaughter. <laughs> 9am Monday and four high-maintenance boom babes head to ICA boot camp, where they'll soon be swapping their labels for ladles. Oh, oh that's my here. shoes, yeah. It's a boot camp, Missy. Shoe camp was last year. With the recession short-circuiting their spending power, these girls need to score some practical survival skills. For personal shopper and stylist Emily, fashion is her superpower. In which case, that yellow rara is probably her kryptonite. I love fashion. I don't know what it is. I've loved it ever since I was a kid. I was always the kid that like would raid her mum's clothes and I'd go up the street when I was about six with high heels and a dress and hair and makeup. And um, I refused to go anywhere without a handbag from about the age of three. Are you a check shirt man? Miss Spin Southwest finalist Claudia briefly modelled in New York before coming home to Tralee to become a handbag herder. I wouldn't be Claudia if I didn't make sure that my outfit was in order and that I didn't look like the way I, the way I always do. Aim to be like one of Sex in the City. I don't, don't know if it always comes off that way, but that's what we're aiming for. Ex-Irish Army officer Colette's killer curves never saw active combat. Now a personal trainer, she wages war on blubber though she's pretty at peace with blather. Some people like to settle into the crowd and follow and being told what to do. Um, that's not me. I like to be the one out front. I'm a me, myself and I. I hate that saying, there's no I in team. Like, you know, that's it, full stop. There is no I in team because you can't be yourself. Happily, there is an I in Michelle. And in singing, modelling, waving, preening and thinking. I'd like to think I'm independent, but when it comes to like cooking and like domestic goddess, I'm not. I'm definitely not. I need to learn how to cook a roast chicken, and then I'll be grand. <laughs> My hopes. That Forced to curb their enthusiasm for excess by the recession, four Glamazonians have decamped to ICA boot camp, where some tough old birds are teaching them the ways of the real world. At the end of the week, they'll have to host a garden party, where one of them will be crowned best in show. Today, they have a field trip. Literally. The sun's shining and we're going to see piglets. Why would you not be happy? Spirits are good today and um, I like animals, so hopefully it'll be good. Hopefully it'll be more a seeing rather than actually touching kind of uh, exercise. <laughs> Today we want you to have an appreciation of food, where it comes from, and how it got there. So, okay, eggs come from Michelle's smock top. That's a start. So you come on your forefinger and then squeeze with the other three. Girl! Don't take all the milk. Oh, there we go, I have two. Michelle, you look like a real milkmaid. Michelle? Yeah, you do, yeah. yeah. I just, I don't like the wasps. So like, we'll watch the wasps. Fashion stylist Emily is right to be nervous because this may not be the last time she feels a teat on the telly. It's okay. No, it's slightly warm. No, no, it's warm. Squeeze the top of it. It's, it's just body. No, I really think this is just. You're doing I think it's kind of inappropriate or it's something. Totally I actually it's do. It's totally appropriate. I think this just looks really vulgar. No. And squeeze, she has no. it. Yeah. Emily is making a crowd. I'm just learning it in case I ever need it for self-survival. Our children think milk comes out of a bottle or a carton. They don't associate it with a cow. When you think that, a, that the zoo has to have a cow in it to show children what it's all about, no one knows what they're eating. Like, we have grown up with that, we know it, and we, we think that everyone knows it, when they actually don't know it, you know? 
So if we, if we could bring back people to basics, it doesn't matter whether it's sewing, crafts, or produce, whatever, you have to start with the basics. <laughs> Some of these girls could, could become really good farmers' wives. Do you think? Down the, down the, down the line. Do I think, think I, I, I would. I think don't. I'll have to disagree with you, Bridget. <laughs> I think they will give them a chance. I think, I think there isn't a hope in hell that they can do it. Piggy! Grab it by the tail. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh! my God, I never knew pig's barks. Come here. Come here. Oh, woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. I nearly got knocked down by the big one. Like... <laughs> After a few minutes playing with the cute baby bacons, Zinger and model Michelle leaps to a life-changing decision. Michelle. Michelle! Michelle! No, I really no. do want to become a vegetarian because they are really cute and I love animals and now I don't want to eat them. But they're going to die and, anyway. And hold it. Where did you think bacon was coming from? The pork came from. I never actually like made that association. But now that I'm on the farm and I'm seeing like all the like little cute pigs and like the chickens and stuff, I just don't really want to kill them. Well, you know what they say about eggs and bacon. For the chicken, it's a day's work. For the pig, it's a lifetime commitment. I was a child in World War II. And it pains me now to see things going to waste. If I can use it, I will use it. And I think the young people haven't learned that. And it might be good if they did. It's very easy cook steak. But what about the cheaper cuts of meat? The meal you can make out of practically nothing. They have beautiful houses, beautiful homes, beautiful kitchens, cookers, and they weren't used, they were only show pieces. But we have come to the time now they'll have to be used. The recruits are now halfway through ICA boot camp and halfway through their set of challenges. For some reason, they think the next skills test involves apple pie. We're meant to be making apple pie, um, so um, we're going to have a little bit of an American pie <laughs> afternoon. I'm scared. Every time before we do something, I'm just scared now. Since the first day, I just want to be excited, but I'm like looking around going, what is it? What is it going to be? Hmm, <laughs> that doesn't look like apple pie to me. Shockingly, 30% of the food we buy is thrown away. Right, let's not waste food. All right. Today, the girls are getting right to the heart of thrifty cooking and the snout, trotters, tail and testicles. I need the barley mixed in okay, with the flour. So just scoop around to the outside. It's flour and barley. I know, but it feels gross. It's flour and barley. But it's all right. Now, I'm just looking for this to be spread out over the top in a layer. That's your job, Emily. Michelle, no. <laughs> no. Oh, there's hairs and everything still on it. Ew. Just spread it. I'll let you know how you're going to hear Good stuff. And then, finally, yeah. Blood. What's that? No. It is blood. blood. Yep. We're making black pudding. We're oh, making black no. pudding. I knew I it. I don't need black pudding. No. Uh, mm, blood. blood. I like, whose blood is that? Pig's, pig's blood. Pig's blood. Pig's blood. So that's what black pudding is. It's yeah, pig. It's coagulated called, it's, pig blood. In other countries, no, they call it blood pudding. Yeah. Don't You're dead pudding. right. Blood pudding. Now. I'll definitely taste this, just to see what it's like making it from. OK. That's sick. So just that's get in there. That's the definition of a blood bath. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, it's warm. Oh, my oh, God. Jesus. With characteristic daring do, Colette's in like a vampire at an all-you-can-eat oh, buffet. Oh, disgusting. Don't flick. <laughs> I should probably just say, right, just from your own point of view, not that I'd be big on fashion tips, I'm sure you've gathered that, right? If you do get any splashes, don't put it into the washing machine. You need to steep this is in so salty water. <gasps> this is only dry, this is dry clean dry only. Dry clean only. <laughs> well, then that's probably um, not such a problem. It kind of feels nice. Yeah. It's therapeutic. This was worse than the chickens. Ooh. It is okay. Claudia, you're having a Sweeney Todd moment. I love Sweeney Todd. <laughs> Claudia nice. and Colette did really well and they, they enjoyed really it. So, yeah, they're, um, I think they're, they're more they're suited into, to yeah. the pudding than <laughs> myself and Michelle. It does feel a little bit like blood now, though. I can see the way it kind of sticks to your hand a little bit. Myself and Emily both did music and art in school. We didn't even do science. Research. We didn't do science didn't or even biology. Do it for so, 
like seeing a big pool of blood is, is kind of alien.